<clears throat> hey, what is going on, Whovians? Mike again here on the Friends of Woodkind YouTube channel. So, Doctor Who first premiered on November 23rd, 1963, with William Hartnell playing the lead role as the Doctor, or Doctor Who. And he played this role until 1966, where he got too sick to continue to play the role, and he was replaced by Patrick Troughton. In the 10 year anniversary in 1973, William Hartnell came back for a limited role to, repri to reprise the role as the first Doctor. Sadly, William Hartnell passed away in 1975. And since then, they've had the special, the five Doctors, which all five of them were in. There was Richard Hurdnell who played the first Doctor, and then Patrick Troughton, John Pertwee, Tom Baker in a limited role in that, and of course, Peter Davison. And then the first Doctor again came back for a cameo role in The Day of the Doctor. Um, Again, it was old footage, though, of William Hartnell. And then the first Doctor again reappeared in recently in Twice Upon a Time, played by David Bradley. So, who was the best first Doctor? Excluding William Hartnell, was it Richard Hurdnell or David Bradley? In my opinion, Richard Hurdnell done a very good job of being the, the first Doctor, of his portrayal of William Hartnell's Doctor. But he just didn't have the that certain thing that made William Hartnell so great. David Bradley also played the first Doctor in An Adventure in Space and Time. Uh, he played William Hartnell as the first Doctor in An Adventure of Space and Time. And that was a better portrayal of William Hartnell's Doctor. And then, and then recently, he came, uh, David Bradley came back as the first Doctor in Twice Upon a Time and done a fantastic job. In my opinion, David Bradley done a better job of, betraying, of portraying William Hartnell's first Doctor than Richard Hurdle did. I understand why they brought the first Doctor back in the Five Doctors, but it just didn't seem right at all to, to not have William Hartnell there. In my opinion, it would have been better not to have him there at all. Although, yes, it did honour the first Doctor, it just it didn't quite seem right to see Richard Hurdle there with uh, Patrick Troughton, John Pertwee, and uh, Peter Davison. Um, obviously, Tom Baker was there on a limited role. Um, not much, probably about a minute of him uh, just floating down a, down a river. David Bradley, I thought, played a better William Hartnell than Richard Hurdnell did. Um, but when you bring back Doctors, you really want them to look like they did when they played the Doctor. When they, when they brought uh, John Pertwee, Patrick Troughton back for the five Doctors, they still didn't change much. And then Patrick Troughton again in the two Doctors with um, Colin Baker. Patrick Tratton, of course, you can still tell it's him, but he had grown a little bit older. But, yeah, in my opinion, David Bradley did play a better first Doctor. He got his walk right. He got his, the way he talked, the way he he spoke right. He got, he even got the, the, the you know, the stats right. Uh, Richard Hurdnall, I think, although he was good, it wasn't as good as David Bradley. But 
in my opinion, nobody can replace William Hartnell. William Hartnell is one of my favorite doctors, even though they're all a doctor to me. But he is one of the one of my favorite ones to watch. And in the future, I hope that the doctor, whatever doctor they want to bring back, um, I I really do hope that it's the same actor and not somebody else. Uh, because to me, it just doesn't seem right to to bring back a doctor if it's not the person who played the doctor. As much as I enjoy the five doctors in Twice Upon a Time, you just I, I just feel that it's, it'd be better off if William Hartnell was there, and if not William Hartnell, then the five doctors should have not cast the first doctor, re recast the first doctor at all. And the first Doctor should not have come back in Twice Upon a Time. Um, if there was any Doctor going to come back. I, I understand the whole storyline of the Mondasian Cybermen. And the two Doctors refusing to regenerate. And they were trying to fill in the gap of Part 3 of the Tenth Planet. Of when the, per the first Doctor wasn't in it at all. Uh, he went off to have an adventure with himself to regenerate. But still... It still wasn't William Hartnell, even though as good as David Bradley was, he was amazing as the first Doctor, as William Hartnell's Doctor. It, it wasn't William Hartnell. So yeah, in the future, I do hope that they do not recast the Doctors. I mean, it's the same as recasting Companions. Okay, like, if they're going to recast Sarah Jane Smith, I don't think they should. Because... I don't think anybody would want anybody to play Sarah Jane Smith other than Liz Sladen. I know I wouldn't. I would be mad if they recast Sarah Jane Smith. And if they were to recast a Doctor that has sadly passed away, then I think that they should use old footage or CGI um, to have the adventure with. Um, because it just, to me, it just doesn't seem right to recast that special role that that person had. Because, okay, William Hartnell made Doctor Who. If it wasn't for William Hartnell, Doctor Who probably would not be here today. Uh, the, the genius of the regeneration thing was brilliant. And Patrick Troughton really did do a good job of carrying on the legacy of the show. But William Hartnell to me is always going to be the Doctor. He's always going to be the original. And please Doctor Who bosses. If you're watching this. Probably not. But if you are. Please do not recast. Any Doctors. Unless. It's. Using CGI or old footage. Anyways guys. Let me know in the comments below. What what do you think? Who who was the between David Bradley and Richard Hurdnell? Who portrayed William Hartnell's Doctor better? In my opinion, it's David Bradley. But there's all, all there's always only going to be one William Hartnell. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you're new around here. And as always, always try to be nice and never fail to be kind.